Thank you, Terry. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Step up over here. Aaron Rodgers, our MVP. Aaron, come here, big guy. You, you have played flawlessly throughout the playoffs. Nine touchdown passes in the playoffs. You get here, three touchdown passes tonight. Congratulations, Green Bay Packers world champion, Super Bowl 45. In 2010, the Packers were great. They won Super Bowl 45 against the Pittsburgh Steelers, 31 to 25. The key players to this team being Greg Jennings, Aaron Rodgers, and Clay Matthews. This team definitely seemed like they can win more rings down the road. And we might be looking at the new dynasty in the NFL. Going into the 2011 season, the Packers needed more pieces on offense. The Green Bay Packers select Randall Cobb, oh wide receiver, Kentucky. That's just what Aaron Rodgers needed, another weapon. Eight-point game, Morstead to kick off. And from eight yards back, Cobb is going to bring it back. And the rookie, breaking tackles on his way into Saints territory. And the second round draft choice goes all the way for a touchdown. Wow. In 2011, the Packers went 15-1. and They had the number one offense in the entire league. Aaron Rodgers would capture his first MVP. And the Packers would be sitting at the one seed going into the playoffs. And in the divisional round, they will have to take on Eli Manning in the New York football Giants. Over the 55-yard try from here. And now instead, they're going for it all. The pass is caught for the touchdown. Unbelievable. Hakeem Nix on a last-second heave. By Eli Manning. In 2012, the Packers would start off 1-1 one one before going up to Seattle to take on rookie Russell Wilson and just the birth of the Legion of Boom. That night, Aaron Rodgers would get sacked eight times. But despite that, the Packers were still up 12-7 to seven with eight seconds to go. And... <laughs> no crazy ending has ever happened in this rivalry's history. We want so. ball, we're going to score. The pass is picked up. Left. The Packers play it at the goal line. As Wilson scrambles to keep it alive. The game's final play is a Wilson lob to the end zone, which is fought for by Tate with Jennings simultaneous. Who has it? Who do they give it to? Touchdown! The fail, Mary has to be the craziest ending to a football game of all time. Despite this, the Packers would still finish the season strong. They would still be 11-5 and and get the three seed going into the playoffs. In the first round, they would dominate the Vikings. And in the divisional round, they will have to take on Colin Kaepernick and the San Francisco 49ers. Second down and four. Kaepernick keeps it. Fooled everybody. Colin Kaepernick. What a game. Touchdown. In 2013, the Packers would start off a strong 5-2 and two before in week 9, Aaron Rodgers would go down with an injury against the Chicago Bears, which would put him out of action for most of the season. With Aaron Rodgers, the Packers were 5 and 2. Without Aaron Rodgers, the Packers were 2 5 and 1. But in the final week of the season, they still had a chance to make the playoffs. They would have to beat the Bears to win the NFC North and clinch a playoff spot.
after a grueling, grueling victory against the Chicago Bears, the Packers will get rewarded with a home game against the San Francisco 49ers. It is good. San Francisco moves on as they win here at Lambeau Field. Dawson ends it with a 33-yarder. And the final 23-20, San Francisco. Correction. The field goal is good. The Packers would have a dominant 2014 season. Aaron Rodgers would get his second MVP of his career, and the Packers would finish with a 12-4 record, clinching the two seed. Now, after a controversial win against the Cowboys in the divisional round, the stage was set for the NFC Championship game. The Packers going up north to play the Seattle Seahawks. The Packers dominated this game left, right, and center. The Packers had a 19-7 lead with about two minutes to go. Even with a Russell Wilson late touchdown, the Seattle Seahawks only had one timeout, and they would have to get an onside kick in order to have a chance to win the game. All the Packers have to do is recover this kick, and they're going to their second Super Bowl in five seasons. And no crazy ending has ever happened in this rivalry. In 2015, for the first time since 2010, the Packers did not win the NFC North. That crown went to Teddy Bridgewater and the Minnesota Vikings. The Packers, however, would be 10-6 and six and get the five seed going into the playoffs. They would handle Washington in the first round, 32-18, to 18, and then they would have to go to Phoenix, Arizona to take on the Arizona Cardinals. And after a grueling, grueling four quarters, we went into overtime, tie game 20 to 20. And in overtime, this man right here, Larry Fitzgerald, showed us why he is Larry fucking legend. So now Arizona from the 20 yard line. Blitz coming, Matthews. Palmer stepping away at first. Palmer extending the play. Nobody there. Crosses the field. Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald is going to take it into Green Bay territory. Larry Fitzgerald inside the 30. The 20. Larry Fitzgerald is insane to the four-yard line. One of the greatest postseason performers ever. The motion man. Little flip to Fitzgerald. He scores. And the Cardinals win in a in 2016, the Packers would start off very, very slow, start off four and six, and people were writing them off to not make the playoffs. But then Aaron Rodgers does what Aaron Rodgers does, and the Packers would win six straight games to finish the season 10 and six and win the NFC North to get the four seed in the playoffs. And in the wild card, the Packers would handle the New York Giants and would have to go to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. The Packers would end up winning 34 to 31 against the Cowboys. The Packers have won eight straight games at this point. They are red hot and have so much momentum going to the NFC Championship game. I think if they can get past the Falcons, they can win it all. And they lay an egg. The Blitz, Falcons pick it up. There's Jones, flag is down. Julio Jones with a catch. Still going, still inbounds. Touchdown, Atlanta. In 
2017, the Packers would start off 4-1 and one before Aaron Rodgers going down. When Aaron Rodgers came back, the Packers still found themselves 7-6 and six going into Week 15, but having to take on Cam Newton, the Carolina Panthers. And that loss right there eliminated them from the playoffs. They would lose out after that and finish the season 7-9, and nine, missing the playoffs for the first time time in Aaron Rodgers career in 2018 it would be a very very rough year for this team finished the season six nine and one and after a rough season Mike McCarthy was on the hot seat big story happened just as we came on the air about 25 minutes ago the announcement from Mark Murphy the team president of the Packers that Mike McCarthy after 12 plus years as the head coach since 2006 has been fired and that was it Mike McCarthy was gone Super Bowl winning head coach Mike McCarthy was gone from the Packers for good. All right, Bill and Cammie, barring a snag in negotiations, Tennessee Titans offensive coordinator Matt LaFleur will be the Packers' 15th head coach. With the first year under Matt LaFleur, the Packers would go 13-3, and declaring the number two seed in the playoffs. They would take on the Seattle Seahawks in the divisional round of the playoffs, and after controlling most of the game, it came down to a third and nine. And... No crazy ending has ever happened in this rivalry ever. We want the so. ball, we're gonna score. The pass is tipped off. Which is fought for by Tate with Jennings. Kick up into the air and it is loose and recovered by Seattle. Rodgers throws, pass is caught. Jimmy Graham, first down. Agree or disagree, he might be short. He may have gotten it. It would have been fourth and in inches. And this is the 2019 Seahawks defense. And I don't think they were stopping Aaron Rodgers on fourth and in inches. So that means that they were going to the NFC Championship game to take on <sighs> the San Francisco 49ers. Somehow the handoff into the arms of Mostert. He's gone. Touchdown, San Francisco. In 2020, Aaron Rodgers would capture his third MVP of his career, and the Packers would go 13-3, and getting the one seed in the playoffs. In the first round, they would dominate the Los Angeles Rams, which would set up the NFC Championship game, which was Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers versus Tom Brady in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And after a late game comeback by the Packers, it came down to the last play. Brady puts it pass incomplete, and there are, now a flag comes flying in. In 2021, the Packers were dominant. The Packers would go 13 and four, capturing the number one seed once again. And Aaron Rodgers would capture his fourth MVP of his career. They looked like Super Bowl favorites going into the playoffs. And luckily for them, in a divisional round, they will have to play the San Francisco 49ers. Backs for this defense in each of the last three games, and it's blocked! Up into the air and spinning inside the 10. Picked up and a touchdown! Kick was down the middle and good! 49ers win it! In 2022, it was very much a down year for the Packers. Devontae Adams left the team and Aaron Rodgers just didn't look the same. Despite this, they were still eight and eight going to the last game of the season. And if they win, they are in the playoffs. Here's a blitz. Can Rodgers beat it? Big ball downfield and it is intercepted by Kirby Joseph. Joseph out of bounds around the 45. And Goff is looking to throw and he throws it. It's caught for the first down. My DJ Aaron Rodgers Packers could have been a great, great dynasty. 
I think of teams like the 2011 Packers, the 2014 Packers, the 2016 Packers, and how much momentum they had. The 2020 Packers and the 2021 Packers were actually good, great teams. But it all came down to bad coaching, bad decisions, and just laying eggs at the wrong time. Oh, and also running into the San Francisco 49ers doesn't help either. He would eventually go to the New York Jets, and the very next season would rupture his Achilles and would miss the entirety of the 2023 season. As for the Packers, they would go with 2020 first round quarterback Jordan Love, which would end up panning out. They would make the playoffs and beat the Cowboys like they usually do, and then lose to, <laughs> yeah, you already know who they fucking lost to. But I think, can the receivers get far enough down the field? Rodgers in trouble. It's going to get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in him? In the end zone. It is caught for the win. He resets Starks. They are going to bring pressure again. Rodgers is going to roll away. Throws it up in the air. Says a prayer. And Janice does not stop it. Oh, please. <laughs> what a catch. That's insane.